Hey everyone, I have built a new uh, creative grading and iterative creative text improvement system, which actually uh, takes in an original test, test a text and it parallel evals it with five AI personas, creates contextual feedback. It has a controlled rewriting, uh, controlling for uh, length, and then uh, tries to improve this text uh, in, a, in a really uh, creative way. Uh, this is the plot evolution of the text. Save each iteration of the text here. In this case, it's just a tweet of mine, and it's entered as a text here. So this script series comes in two parts. One is the creative grading part, and then the iterative improvement, which is currently running. So I have a system diagram, which I can show you while this is running in the background. So we have our original text. Next, and then we check personas.json. So personas.json is a clever technique that I thought might improve actual evaluation of creative text. Because if you just ask an LLM to uh, grade a text, then you'll, you'll, you might have noticed that they just, you know, they're not very good at it. They usually get a pretty flat uh, rating system. So I wanted to use personas to grade it. But if personas.json doesn't exist, it'll actually use the text itself to create the personas based around the meaning of the text. Okay, so for example, if you look at the personas, since this text was related to large language models and a system that I built, these personas are related to software architecture, experimental AI research, algorithmic optimization, so on and so forth. So if these personas exist, it will load it. If not, it will create it based on the original text. By the way, these code files will be available at my Patreon. Link to download them will be in the description and in the comments, depending on where you're watching this from. Okay, so if we create the personas and we start the create a iterative evaluation loop that is going to evaluate and plot and so on and so forth. So we get five personas that grade the text before we, three rubrics they, cake, they come up with, plus suggestions for improvements. We aggregate this feedback uh, along with the scores and, and send it back to a rewriter uh, asking with a, with a crucial system constraint, such as to not change the meaning and to write it uh, approximately the same length of the original. And then uh, we do a length check and do retries up to three times if the length surpasses 10% more than the original. Then um, if it's a successful rewrite, we update the conversation history, generate progress plot, and save the results plus the text files. We check uh, if the target score reached. Uh, these are all variables in the, uh, in the script. Uh, here, the average score is nine. It stops either when reaching max iterations or max successfully attaining max average score. Uh, we check if, in either case, we save the best version, uh, the best created version. So if we look here, so this still is struggling with grading. And as you can see, the grading is pretty flat. But every once in a while, it'll write a good one with a high score. For example, I think the best one we have is 6.6, .6, this one. Uh, so. It, it is some variability, like this one is rated 5.3, but this one is rated, we just got a one that's rated seven. Uh, so we are nearing the end, actually. Uh, so the, let's talk about the, or the basic version, the creative gradient. Like we said, we give a text, and then we uh, send a text to the large language model and suggest five fictional personas designed to create, evaluate uh, with tension against one another. So these personas actually are in conflict with one another. I did it that way so that they would not all just return, you know, nines and tens, but uh, the large language model will have to balance different opinions, you know, against one another. Uh, so maybe I was hoping to get a more objective grading system. Once we have the personas, then we send the text plus the persona, persona make parallel calls, expecting rubrics uh, and, and, a, and a score based on the rubric. Rubrics are generated on the fly uh, and then a total score. Uh, yeah, the average, that is. Um, so this is, this is what it does, yeah. And uh, it still needs some improvement, especially on the prompt side, I believe. But uh, it does cause improvements. As you can see, so we did, we did jump up 
about his point. Uh, and the later versions are consistently above six versus uh, earlier versions were five. I am using Sonoma Sky Alpha. I've tried s several different models, but they 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 all are uh, struggling with this. I haven't tried GPT five. That might be a good one with this. I did try GPT five Mini, which wasn't doing that great. Anyway, so this is the system. So we are in the last loop. So we should get the best one saved, which is 7.2, which just happened to be the last one. Here we save the best iteration. So we can move this to the side. And this is the original tweet. Uh, so although the word count kind of surpassed, it seems. Hmm. Anyway, uh, so LLM cultivates contextual understanding, enabling it to navigate complex challenges. Uh, Rereading journal notes to uncover sharper insights. Okay, self-reflection, like reading journal notes. However, such anthropomorphic metaphor risk naturalizing AI's progress, therefore reinforcing techno-determinism in human and AI interactions. Okay, this is this this must have come from the techno this persona because we have a. Um, hum this one maybe uh, it's uh, algorithmic optimization. Yeah, so this this is an interesting idea, but uh, might need some, you know, uh, roughen uh, roughening up of the edges. But you can uh, grab it from my Patreon, and while you're at my Patreon, take a look at different memberships I do offer consulting. If you need any help with your systems or you just want to talk with me, uh, take a look at the membership option that offers that. Thank you for watching and take care.